Hi, karibu sana to our Wednesday service. Today we are having a sitting room experience as you can see. And I trust that the Lord has kept you well and has kept you safe. So today I welcome you for this service. Have fun in the presence of the Lord. Karibu. Good evening, Career Community Chapel family. Welcome to today's service. My name is Christine Denya. And I would like to start us off by reading Psalm 47. And this is what it says. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord, with the sound of a trumpet, sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the, the, princes of the people gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. Let us pray. Our everlasting Lord and God, we bow before your presence just the way we are. We know that we are nothing without you and everything that we have, you have given us, O oh Lord. And tonight, Lord, we come before you to seek your face, to just to know you more, O oh God. We know that you are all that we need, O oh God. You are only help. You are only strength. And as we pray tonight, we ask, O oh Lord, that you stretch forth your hand and refresh us and rejuvenate us, O oh God, that you, that you mend the brokenhearted in our midst, O oh Father, that you cause us to be all that you've called us to be, O oh God, that you work within us, that which is pleasing in your sight, O oh Lord. We pray that you baptize us afresh with the baptism of your Holy Spirit, O oh God, cause us to be that which you've called us to be at this particular season oh god we bless you and we honor you in jesus name amen let you live in waters flow over my soul let you hold
today we honor and exalt you for you are God you are king over everything oh God who is like you we honor you we give you praise we present our praises to you oh God thank you Lord thank you Jesus
just exalt the Lord. We can give him words of praise and adoration for he alone is God. No one can compare with him. No one can be worshipped apart from him, oh God. Lord, you are the true and the living God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the soon coming King. You are the Lily of the Valley, oh God. Father, we worship and adore you, oh King of Glory. You deserve every praise. You deserve every honor. You deserve all the glory, oh God. Together we join together with the angels and the elders to sing of your holiness, to sing of your praise, to sing of your greatness. Oh Lord, you are faithful. You remain to be faithful. Father, be exalted and be magnified, oh God. Father, no one can be compared with you, oh Jesus. Oh, you make every crooked path straight. Lord, you bring light into darkness, oh my God. You rise us, you raise us, oh God, from the ashes, oh God. From the pit, my God, you lift us up. And you place us on a solid ground, oh God. Lord, you're the one who turns our dark hearts, my God. You illuminate our dark hearts, oh God. You give hope when there is no hope, oh God. Lord, we honor you and we adore you, King of glory. Father, we adore and we honor you, oh God. Oh God,
God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his house, and all that were with him, Get rid of the foreign gods that you have with you, and purify yourself and change your clothes. Then, then come, let us go to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answered me in the day of my distress, who has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all their gods that they had, the rings in their ears, and Jacob buried them under the oak of Sechem. Brethren, the Lord wants us to build an altar for him. He wants our heart to be a sanctuary, a prince, a Bethel where God, where he was. Bethel means the house of God. God desires our hearts to be a place where he will dwell. He, our God wants our hearts to be Bethel. But before we get there, just like Jacob, it is up to us for us to bury all the gods that we have come uh, from, from Shechem with. Uh, Rachel had hidden gods under her skirt from her brother Laban. Brethren, what are the gods that you hold so dear? What is that thing that you would be willing to bury? God is asking you to bury that. Be it a relationship that you value so much, but God keeps on telling you that this relationship is a no-no. Be it that you worship your career so much that you don't mind sinning or taking shortcuts. Be it that you, you are involved in activities, in, in addictions, in, in, in bondages or in entertainment that is not godly. And God keeps on telling you that this entertainment is not pleasing to me. Before God can make your heart his home, are you willing first to bury all those gods that are that you brought from the world, that you brought from the world, from Sekim? And Heavenly Father, we are here. We are we are surrendered to you, O God. Search our hearts, O God, and, and show us, O God that thing that we've brought from the world be it our entertainment be it relationships, be it habits oh God and also Lord your word says that you give us the will to do Lord we want to ask you that you may not, not legalistically but with your power the power of your Holy Spirit you may give us the ability to bury anything that we hold so dear as a God be it finances, be it relationships, be it our children, be it our, our boyfriends and our girlfriends that keep, make us keep on sinning over and over again. Be it a deal, be it a business involvement that allows us to have to make shortcuts, bribing and, 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 and other ways that are not godly, oh God. Anything that is not pleasing to you, oh God, we bury it, oh God. We bury it so that we can go to Bethel, so that our hearts can be a place where you want to dwell, oh God. Lamb of God, we want to ask you, God, that you may, you may heal us, oh God, from every iniquity, from every wound that cost us, oh God, from every wound that makes us uh, remove past, not just wiping of the blood and wiping off of the past, oh God, but we want to ask you, oh God, that you may search us and heal our brokenness, heal our wound, O oh God, for the glory and honor of your name, O oh God. Even we ask for, for forgiveness for this country, O oh God. We see corruption, we have normalized corruption, O oh God, and we have adored wickedness, O oh God, and want to ask you, God, that you may forgive us, O oh God, even as a country, O oh God. Lamb of God, I'm, I'm praying, oh God, for those people who are held in bondages, oh God. I want to ask you for freedom, oh God. 
I want to ask you for grace to overcome those addictions, for grace to overcome um, any, any oppression of the enemy, be it uh, stress, be it depression. Oh God, I want to ask you that you may lift our Lord's your says, Come on to me, oh, who are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And you, if you are there at home and and you want to bury your flesh, you want to bury your sin, and you want to give your life to Christ, please repeat after me. Uh, friends, you can join me as we say the, uh, this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you heavy laden that I may find rest. I lay down my burdens to you. I, I want to ask you for your help to repent. I want to leave my sin behind me and walk in righteousness. I want to leave the wicked ways and walk in purity. I want to know you, Lord, and I want to walk in your own ways. Please help me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and give me the strength to obey your Holy Spirit for the, for the, for the glory and honor of your name. And Lord Jesus, this evening I give my life to you that you may be my Lord and Savior and that I may live for you for the rest of my life and now I am born again I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord I believe with me in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and I receive salvation by faith in Jesus name satisfy the desires of our hearts, oh God. Nothing on earth can satisfy us, oh God. You are enough for us. Lord, you're enough for us. You're enough for each and every one of us, oh God. And we're running to you tonight. We're laying down everything that we might be carrying, oh God. We're choosing you
you lead us beside quiet waters and you restore our souls, oh God. You guide us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake, oh God. Yes, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For your staff, for, for you are with us, oh God. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us, Lord. You tell us that you prepare a table before our enemies in the presence of our enemies. And you anoint our heads with oil, oh God. And our cup of afflictions, oh God. And you promise us that surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in your house forever, God. Tonight we choose to, to run with those promises, oh God. We choose to to you tonight you have heard Lord and we proclaim and we'll sing and just say that you are enough where can we go God you are enough you satisfy the desires of our hearts Lord you are enough for us O King of Glory thank you Jesus thank you for your Holy Spirit Lord thank you for your presence my God Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies, my Jesus. Thank you for the great testimonies that are going to come out, O King of Glory. And we say, Santi, thank you, King of Kings. We thank you. Come on, you can say thank you with me. You can just open your mouth and say thank you. You're the only one who knows what he has done for you. Open your mouth and tell him thank you. Because he's done great and mighty things. He has fought you back. Lord, we say thank you. To Nasemani Asante, Baba. For Bali Hu, to Nasemani Asante. For this far, for holding us together, Lord, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus.
presence. We choose to say thank you, God. We choose to say thank you for, for your doing and for your, for your grace today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'd like to say thank you so much for, for joining us and for giving towards this amazing projects that we are doing in church. May God richly, richly bless you. Amen. Bwana akubariki na akulinde akuangazi Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
celebration and our dedication today that the Lord be with you, that the Lord keep you, and may He make His face to shine upon you. That on your coming in, in your going out, the Lord shall bless you, He shall keep you, you shall not lack, you shall not thirst, you shall not hunger. For the God who supplies to all our needs will keep supplying to you, and you will not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. And everything that you have, any troubles that you have, May you lay it down at his feet and he will sort it out. In the mighty name of Jesus. for staying tuned till the very end and it's my prayer that even as Njoki was leading the service that you are writing down the things that you're looking for and asking God to do for you and the things that God has already done for you for his glory and so I urge you to share the testimony so that you're able to encourage those that are discouraged and also glorify his name in the midst of all this so thank you so so much have an awesome awesome week and see you next time Bye.